A Maryborough Wildlife Sanctuary is the first in Queensland to obtain dingo pups that have been bred legally in captivity. The owners plan to use the pups to help educate visitors and locals about dingo interaction and behaviour following several attacks on Fraser Island. They're just seven months old, but sanctuary owner Ray Revel has big plans for the wild dogs. He hopes the youngsters can help remove the stigma about dingoes. We can actually do a lot of um, training, education, um, awareness. Mr Revel hopes he can work with Queensland Parks and Wildlife helping to educate tourists who come to the region about dingo behaviour, especially after numerous attacks on Fraser Island. To bring people aware of, of behaviours of dingoes, um, things to look out for, stances, um, uh, any aggression patterns that may occur from that. Mr Revel plans to expand the display and is hoping to secure pups from Fraser Island to help preserve the unique bloodline. It's important that we actually start to maintain and look after the dogs on the island. Dingo activists have applauded the idea. Once people have a positive encounter with a dingo, it's a love affair that lasts for life. And uh, the sanctuary is a great opportunity to educate people about what affectionate animals dingoes can be. The young siblings have joined the park's existing dingoes, Didge and Carla, who were brought in from the Big Pineapple just six weeks ago. And the new pack is already bonding with their new owner. The sanctuary is now holding a competition to name the dingo pups and will hold an open day later this year. The display is one of only a few educational dingo exhibits in the country. Karen Broadhurst, Win News.